Hi, it's Corrine for Cut It Home, and today I have a large, chunky Halloween album to share with you. But let me first set this aside and just go over some of the items that I use. I use lots of product from Cut It Home, so I just quickly want to go through it all. But if you go to Cut It Home's blog, everything that I used will be listed on the, the blog. So if you have any questions, head over there. I used the Graphic 45 Rare Oddities Collection, the 8x8. I used a couple of the 12x12 pads as well, and I used every last sheet of the 8x8. I used quite a bit of the 6x6 pattern and solids from the Rare Oddities. I used the Ephemera Pack, the Journaling and Ephemera Cards. I also used one of the Graphic 45 Antique Brass Door Knockers, the Lion Heads, and I used the um, chipboard pieces from the Rare Oddity collection, collection along with the tags and pockets. I don't have that to show here. I did use the, I believe this is stamp set 2, the Rare Oddities. This was fun to work with. And I used several dies. I use Spellbinders Labels 40 dies. I love this. I use the Labels 39 dies. I use this beautiful timeless rectangle Spellbinders die. I use the large one out of this and the small one as well. And I use Spellbinders Labels 17 dies. Again, everything will be listed on Cut at Home's blog if you have any questions. I adhered the everything down with um, Angel Craft tape and I edged everything in black so using a mini ink blender. And I mean everything in the album I edged with black soot. Um, I did use the Spellbinder Celebrations Totally Tangerine and I'll show you specifically what I used. I used a few of the spiders. I got these from my local grocery store. And let me show you the album. I used a ton of cameo cuts as well. Some of them they seem to no longer have, so I didn't list those, but any that they still had on Silhouette America, I added a link for those as well for you to find. And one of those is this large haunted house. This is by Lori Whitlock. I used the paper in the background is from Karina Gardner. I have a link for that as well, and it's from her spooky collection. I absolutely love this paper, so I added that to the back. And for this haunted house, I did about probably 10 layers of it. So it's like chipboard. It's thicker than chipboard. The In between two of the layers, I added some of this yellow paper so it looks like some of the lights are on. I added some cut-aparts from the paper collection like that owl and that skeleton up there. Hopefully you can pick these up. And I added some acetate in between those layers to, to give it a little bit of a glare. So hopefully you can catch the glare on that. Here I have a cut apart from the collection. It's the birdcage. I added some glossy accents to it and I added one of these um, crows to the top. Again, several layers to make it thick like chipboard. Same with the witch. I added, this is from the um, chipboard collection. I made my own little moon in the back and I sprayed the moon and the house with Lindy Stamp Gang Sterling Silver, I believe it was. I added a spider in here, a lock that I, I believe is a um, parts from Hobby Lobby. Here's from the chipboard collection. I added a number 31. It's a wooden piece from Saw Crafters along with this wooden gate. I added a little scared, scaredy cat or a cat. And then this is also from the tag collection. And there's also a metal charm there of a hand right there. So my gate, here is how the gate looked originally. So I painted it with several coats of white paint. I added some crackle paint to it, heat set it with my heat gun, and then I went over it with vintage photo. I also used uh, Tim Holtz vintage photo and black soot, and I cut apart the gate and really distressed it to give it kind of a spooky look. And I didn't fully um, glue on this top layer to give it dimension of the haunted house. Same with on the bottom here, it's, it's kind of open to give it all dimension. So on the side, I used one of the staples, the Lion uh, Brass Door Knockers. I absolutely love it. And I added some charms. I added a little skeleton who is missing his foot, it looks like. So I thought that was appropriate. And I have the numbers 31. 
I have a little skeleton key. I have a little owl here. And then I have a Tim Holtz charm that says secret. So I have that hanging from the side. The back of the album is just the plain paper. And the album is seven by seven. Uh, the, the outside is seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter. I have a tutorial of how I make my mini albums on my channel. I will also link that down in the description box. It's not going to be the same size as this. It's a little bit smaller, but the concept is the exact same. I use the Laura Dennison um, Stack the Deck Binding System, which is my favorite system to use. And this is a super interactive, chunky album. So on the front page here, I use tons of magnets throughout the album. So I will link uh, where I get my magnets as well. So for this first page, I used a four by six journaling card and I added a tiny little booklet underneath it, which I'll show you in a moment. Here I have a tag from the tag collection. I added a pearl to the top of it. I used two of the uh, chrysanthemums from Wild Orchid Crafts and added glitter balls to the center. I added a spider here and I stacked some of the chipboard pieces as well. I have a couple die cuts here and for those I use the Labels 39 die and I have this magnetized so when you open it up there is a little booklet to add more photos to it. On this side I made a pocket and I used the stamp set that I had shown from uh, Graphic 45, stamped out the bottle, and stamped one of these smaller stamps in the center of it. And for the bottle is where I used the Totally Tangerine, and then I used um, VersaFine Black for the inside. These two here are silhouette cuts, and I backed them on some black paper, added a tag. This here is actually stuck to the pocket. It's one of the stamps that I used the Totally Tangerine on, and I backed it on one of the labels 39 dies as well. Every single page has a pull out large mat so more photos can be added and this has just a bracket edge that I designed in my cameo. I'm not going to pull out every one of these but every page has one. So lots of photos in this album. So to the pocket, oh I love this paper. So to the pocket I have a large tag. I used one of the chipboard pieces back some of the 6x6 six six paper on the front and back. I have a 4x6 uh, journaling card or ephemera card. And on this side I used a gate that um, I cut from my cameo. I fussy cut out this owl from the 12x12 12 12 paper. I added some tombstones behind there that again I cut from the cameo along with this crow and this little skull. I have a um, this was actually a neck necklace that I took the top part off. It says Warning Zombies and another cat. And then to the pockets, I have a 4x6 card. I have this tombstone card that I cut from the cameo. And this, I believe, is Glitz paper that I designed by adding this spooky to it. And I backed it on some pattern paper. So photos can be added inside these pockets as well another journaling card and then this is also from the cameo it says it's a print and cut enter at your own risk I backed it on black I have some of this beautiful paper in the back I've been working on this album for a few weeks now so that's why I don't have a start to finish on it it's too it's uh, it was a very involved project. So now this is actually, the magnet is not holding it as well. It does kind of hold it, but this is actually a flip out from this page. So it's not, this is actually the next page, but in between there I did a flip out. So on this side I have a cutout from the collection, a tag, and um, made them into a pocket. I have a couple photo mats here along with a four by six journaling card. This here was cut from Labels 40 die. So those just tuck in there along with more photos can be tucked in there as well. On this side I used the stamp set that I showed you and to the inside I used um, a Tim Holtz ink. I'll have to try and remember what that is so I can link that. And if you can see this frame here, this is a beautiful frame. This is the Timeless Rectangles frame. 
from Spellbinders. It's the large one. And then I just cut a piece of the 6x6 six six to go in between and a chipboard piece. And then this flips open to reveal a pocket in the middle and another um, tag on the side with some pearls. And these just tuck in there. It's a 4x6 six card. Another matte piece cut from the labels 40. And then a 3x4 card that I backed on some black cardstock. So a photo can be added to this page and then journaling on these or photos added to these. And then to the inside of this pocket I used my Borders One die from Spellbinders. I didn't show that today but I will have that linked. I used that to make that edge. A 4x6 card, a tombstone, and then another little uh, it's called Tombstone. It's a print and cut from the Cameo. So photos can be added in there. And then you turn this over. I just have some pattern paper. This is actually a digital pattern paper that I had in my stash. I added a, a mat to it, another layer of those cats, and then I have some Wild Orchid Craft Summer Bloom Flowers that I added a skull and I distressed that with some Tim Holtz. Um, Adirondack deck ink. On this side I cut this from my Cameo. It's a scallop shape that I designed in the Cameo and when you flip that open it has a magnet in it and this large frame for a photo. Photo can be placed here and then you close it back up and it flips up as well. Up here I have one of the uh, tags and pockets and you pull it out and there's a journaling tag in here from the collection. Behind it I have um, a piece that I cut from the paper collection and I added glossy accents to the top of that and let it sit overnight. That just tucks in there. And then I also have this tombstone cut out from the cameo. It says Vampire Blood. This also is a uh, cut out that I made into a pocket. It says The Witch's Night Party. Happy Halloween. And to the pocket I have another tombstone 4x6 card. I love these cards. This was cut from the 12x12 12 12 collection. And another tombstone that says Haunted. This album was a lot of fun to make. I realized how much out of my box I had to go with this album because this is a very busy album. And although I love making chunky albums, I've come to realize I really like simple, clean lines. Um, so this was a little different for me. I wanted it to be very busy, and um, it definitely is. <laughs> so on this side I have a pocket. I have some of the chipboard tags. And to the pocket, this is a print and cut from the Cameo, a 3x4 card, and another one of those tombstones that says October with a black pumpkin. I have another one of those little skeletons that I hung. He's missing an arm here and I made a little tag with the paper collection and a little bit of seam binding. So again, these just tuck right into the pocket. To this side, I cut one of the pockets in half. I added a scallop border and I did four layers, so it's a very thick border so it doesn't bend easily. And I cut a piece from the 12x12 12 12 collection. It's the skeleton here. I added a little bit of burlap from Wild Orchid Crafts behind that. And to the pocket I added two tombstones. And I got this idea from Anne's Paper, Anna's Paper Creations. She made little um, tombstones like this that you open up and you can add journaling to. Hers had little pockets as well, but I left out the pockets. So these are great for journaling. And I distress these very heavily with black soot as well. So photos can also be placed in this pocket. On this side I have some trim from Hobby Lobby along with some flat back pearl trim and this beautiful brooch piece. It's a charm piece but I just thought it went great with this collection. On this side I have some trim that I had in my stash along with some bling trim. I added a spider and I made a side pocket as you can see here. To the pocket I have a large mat using the paper collection. I have a 4x6 journaling card. And then this is cut from the um, paper collection, or excuse me, uh, 
the Cameo. I added a tag with it, an enamel dot, and then some more of these from the Cameo. They say rat spleen mixture, horn slugs, and scrab beetle mixture. And it has um, what each mix mixture contains. So it's a little creepy. On this side, you may have seen a video that I recently shown how to make an accordion flip inside of your album. So that's what this is. I use these two brooches. I absolutely love them. I added a black heart and this was cut from, I believe the label's 39 as well. Yeah. So when you open it up, I did little pieces of paper so three by four photos can fit in here and it's all magnetized to hold it together. So I don't know if you can see, I think there's 12 spots for more photos on both sides. So just on this one page alone they can get 12 smaller photos. To this side I created a flip again using the Cameo. I made a little scallop border, used some more of that paper that I love and when it flips open we have a Halloween bat here and then one large piece from the tags and pockets and inside is a 3x4 card. It's actually a little book. I just folded it in half. And then another piece from that label's 40. That just tucks in there. And on the last page we have another flip that again I designed using a scallop border. I added some of this trim from Saw Crafters and it's magnetized. So when you flip it open, we have a spot for a photo album up here. One of the cats. Here I did some witch's legs. Another photo mat. And it's open so they can slide a photo underneath it. And then this flips down. We have another spot here where it has a haunted bingo card. And to that I have a couple 3x4 tags. And a little five, four and a half by 45 and a half photo mat. And here I have a print and cut from the Cameo. It says Arsenic Poisoning and a pocket. I love this paper. So to the inside I have a journaling card that I backed on some black paper along with some of the pattern paper. I have another little book, flip book from the journaling and ephemera cards and some more of the ephemera cards. And on the last page I did this candelabra using some thick color bock silver paper. It was really hard to cut out on the Cameo and as a matter of fact I had to individually glue each one of these pieces on because they didn't stay together but I think it was worth it. I wanted that in the album. And again another magnetized flip up. So we have this spooky little Halloween frame with some pattern paper on the inside and I also have a um, template to go with it so a photo can easily be traced and added in there. And then I made a little side belly band from the paper collection and a couple journaling spots backed on some black cardstock that'll slide right in there. And this piece here is one of those Tim Holtz clear pieces the skull there. My friend Patty gave it to me. Thank you Patty. And I added some of the paper behind it with some glossy accent and let it dry overnight and then I just trimmed the paper out. So I wanted to use that. And that is my entire chunky album. Everything will be listed on the Cut at Homes blog. If you have, if you have any questions please leave me a comment and please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching.